Aloha, how y'all doing? All right, I'm William, and we'll talk today about uh, mobile operating systems. All right, let's mosey into our slides for today and see what uh, we have in store for y'all. Okay, so I was talking about mobile operating systems. Okay, and uh, mobile operating system, the operating system that controls a smartphone, say a table, or other uh, such mobile device. And uh, sometimes they just say mobile OS. Okay, so computer science, there's a lot of acronyms, and one they throw at you is OS, OS this, OS that. So um, again, OS is the operating system. Okay, so if you say OS, you sound, uh, sound smart, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. All right, so next part here. And um, so the operating system, the mobile operating system, I always think of Mobile when I see that. That's a town in Alabama. At any rate, so uh, we have an embedded operating system in a mobile device. So embedded, what does that mean, embedded? Hmm. All right, so embedded means that the operating system is stored in the hardware of the electronic device. So a lot of computers, okay, like larger computers, desktops or laptops, all right, the operating system is part of the software, okay? And that's it takes a little while to load and that kind of stuff. Uh, but for the tablets or cell phones, you want it to be right quick, right? You don't want to have the www worldwide wait going on, right? So for those, the uh, operating system is embedded. So it's part of the, the hardware. And anything that's part of the hardware just runs a lot faster. OK. Sometimes I wish I was embedded in hardware. OK. Um, at any rate, let's look at the next slide here. And um, so we'll go over a couple of operating systems that are uh, mobile operating systems. And one popular one is Android. The Android. And uh, that came about around 2007. And uh, owned by Google. I hope you guys know what Google is or does or what they are. At any rate, so they, they, they were the people that had the search engine going on. Made a big, big company from that. And used these in the smartphones, your tablet computers, um, so the smaller devices. And uh, based on a Linux kernel, okay, so um, in another part of the class we talked a bit about, or we'll talk a bit about Linux. At any rate, um, it's based on the, the kernel or a smaller part of that operating system. Okay, so Android's popular. What's another popular one? Uh, I guess we can say most popular. Uh, anyway, it's a very popular one. Uh, things change over time, but another popular one is, of course, the uh, Apple operating system, iOS. And uh, this is, again, used for the mobile devices. That's our theme for uh, this session. And that came about about 2007 and owned by Apple, okay, the computer company. And, uh, you know, iPhone, iPod Touch, uh, iPad, uh, these kind of things. And um, it's Unix-like. So uh, Unix is another operating system, and kind of an older version of that was Darwin. And uh, OS X, OS X. Um, was another, uh, what you call, uh, operating system that Apple created. Okay, so you got all these, these different uh, operating systems with all these different names. They're kind of, some of the names are kind of weird, yeah. But at any rate, um, personally, I thought they should have named it just operating system one, two, three, four, but it didn't happen that way, did it? Okay, so let's see what's next here. No one asked me about how to name their operating system, did they? I mean, it's a good thing. Okay, so... Next part, we got the BlackBerry. And again, some kind of cool names here. Um, let's see, though. Introduced back in the, in the 90s. Whoa, OK, 1999, man. Cool. And uh, owned by this Canadian company, all right, BlackBerry uh, Limited. And uh, used in their handheld devices. It's one of the, the, the big handheld devices back in the day. And um, Java Virtual Machine, okay, so their operating system was based on Java. Okay, we have some uh, classes that we teach Java, uh, ICS 111, ICS 211, 
um, are some of our classes that we actually teach this language for y'all. So it's, it's a language that's used out there um, for programming. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's look at another operating system here. This next one is called WebOS. So let's see, WebOS. And um, for this one, it came about in 2009. And it's open source. That means many different programmers uh, work on this uh, operating system or software uh, based on Linux, which is uh, another open source operating system that many people work on, uh, many people create. And uh, there's a company called Palm. It's used in those handheld computers, also uh, Hewlett Packard's their smartphone, LG Electronics, uh, web-enabled smart TVs. I think this kind of jumped around to different companies as they acquired other companies. At any rate, let's see for our next operating system here. Might be uh, a company that you're familiar with, uh, Microsoft. And they have their Windows Phone 8. This came out uh, 2012, a little bit more recent, yeah. And owned by the, the pretty large company, Microsoft. Hope you heard of that company. Uh, they got famous through their operating system that they created. And yeah, so used in the smartphones, okay. All right, so that's, that's kind of the major, um, what, mobile operating systems out there. Not mobile, mobile, okay. And uh, some something to look out for, though. Let's let's look on the next slide to see uh, about that. And something to be careful about or look out about, or I mean, it's just common sense. But uh, you have all these different applications you can download, but then each one's designed for a certain uh, mobile operating system. Okay. So every mobile operating system is different. It runs with different languages or different uh, hardware. So the apps are made just for a particular mobile operating system. It's, it's too bad it's not more, uh, more uh, universal or flexible, yeah. But that's the way it is. So when you download your app, uh, make sure it runs on your particular mobile operating system, okay? So just check on that. I know there's a lot of apps out there. You know, you got an app for that. But um, just double check, make sure it works on your particular operating system for your particular phone or iPad or, or whatever uh, mobile device that you have. All right, so that's uh, all for my section today. Uh, we'll see you a little later. All right.